corner where we discuss everything from lifestyle to beauty to fashion to life to getting back outside to me becoming my best me from weight loss to now impending divorce to different things that are happening in my life that I bring forth on the channel and share. Um, and I want to thank you for taking this journey along with me in my little corner of YouTube. So today I'm actually going to be bringing you a small haul because I just picked up a couple of pieces from Fashion to Figure that will transition us into from spring to summer. And I just want to bring those to you to show you just a couple of pieces that I picked up. Not a great haul from, not a great big haul from them. Um, fashion to figure is not giving me what I want it to give. Um, so I'm still trying. I'm trying hard with them. Um, there are some pieces in the past that I really, really loved, and then they've made a change, and then every became, everything became super, super trendy, super, super short, super, it's just too much. And now, there's some pieces in there where there's some hidden gems. So I'm trying out a couple of those pieces that I hope to be that they are some gems. Otherwise, yeah, there's a reason you can send it back. Um, so without any further ado, it's my bo my homeboys, my homegirls, my good Judy's, my cousin, my family, my family, my peeps, and my peepettes. Have you yet hit that subscribe button. If not, go ahead and hit subscribe, like, and share so we can continue to gain traction on this channel. I'm not going to hold you. We only have a short haul from our friends over at Fashion and Figure. So let's go ahead and get into that because I have a lot of content to push out in the next couple of weeks. So thank you. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get into this first piece that I picked up from Fashion to Figure. And this is called the Ilea Mock Neck Marble Print Mesh Top. Got this in a size one. Um, it was multicolor, as we all can tell. <clears throat> it is completely, completely mesh. Um, it is a really nice mesh knot. Um, it is definitely not one of the... I saw a different way to call, I'm just going to say cheap. It's not very, um, one of the cheapy, cheapy mesh. I love it. It has the thumb holes in it, which is super cute. And it does, it does something for me. I just like this, um, on here. Very nice. It is not constricted, even though it is mesh. It's not like loosey goosey and it's not really constricted, even though it has the mock neck. It is very lightweight as well. I will step back so you can see the length of this. This is where the length stops in true length. Of course, I'll do something different depending on what I'm going to wear this with. I actually purchased it based on the color alone. And let me show you the back. And, and for it to be mesh, it's not as sheer or see-through as most would think and I kind of like that about this um because there is so much that you can do with this but do I recommend this top yes it is still in stock I've checked um I will go ahead and link it down below but I love the color there is so many things that you can do with this you can do white orange olive lime bright orange fuchsia lipstick there is endless possibilities that you can pair this top with and i cannot wait to get outside and explore this top with some variations and of course some accessories and some things that i picked up that i filmed in my last couple of hauls um some accessories and things that i picked up if you don't want to use the thumb hole you just will have a little bit of gathering here at the sleeve but let me just come closer if you cannot see the color wave this is beautiful and you can pair this with so 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 much highly recommend this all right my loves let's get into this next piece this is called the amdala abstract print v neck flare dress this is from the gabrielle gabrielle union collection and i got this in a size one and i will say that this is like satin um i actually could have went down to a zero in this because it is extremely large on top 
but because it's elastic and it's a flare i actually could have went to a one and made this okay um will i just do a little bit of minor alteration on there yeah it's just a matter of me taking that and tacking it i can make this work this will be perfect when i am done with it but this is absolutely beautiful it is satin let me step back so you can see this because from a person who does not wear their legs out this is freaking beautiful let me turn around in the back so you can see the height and it does have an elastic waist as well that's another reason why i knew i could have went down size but it's okay um i love this i love that little streak of black that does have a belt on it it is a satin belt it is not detachable i wish that it was but it is not and it has two long strings so you can tie it in the back or you can bring it back around and bring in the waist some more um if that's what you choose to do um so you have multiple ways that you can tie this and just let it hang either way it is beautiful it does have pockets um i felt them there they go so it does have pockets and it is very flowy very very nice very well made i love this love the sleeves um and i don't see when i say i can have gone down a size i could have but i think it would have made the armhole a little tight because the largest part of my arms are here and I have very little room. So if I went down a size, might have made the arms a little bit tighter. So I'm glad that I did stay with the size because I could do minor alterations for me. It does have two hook and eyes right here. And it will be a matter of just adding another hook and eye to close that. To give me a little bit of closure and that will adjust the sleeve so that the top the shoulders will stay up but yes y'all this is this is nice this is nice so highly highly recommend this over here shop that link down below go on over to fashion to figure because this one they they hit this one right on the head all right my loves and getting to this last piece from fashion to figure and this is i have no idea i locked my phone sorry this is the lauren lennon cutout top and i got this of course in green and a size one and then i got the lauren lennon wide leg pants in the green um the green olive in a size one and they both one was the pants were $41.97 the top was $26.97 so I will tell you that I am happy with this this is a good piece for me does have the cutout but with the nude bra that I have on you can't even tell it looks very flush tone um in the mirror for me so I hope it looks the same on camera um and i like the top it's not adjustable which i wish up oh, i lie it is adjustable so i do want to tighten up these um because what i just did was i stuck double-sided tape on there because that means i should be looking first and i didn't but this right here is super super nice i'm gonna turn around to the back so that you can see how it fits has the ring it zips up I was actually able to slide it on over my head, but then with the adjustment, it would adjust nice. These are the pants. You can see them in the back. They have elastic where they need to. So it does cinch it and doesn't give me that gapping um, that you would normally get. The length is great for me. I don't even have to hem these. Um, these are perfect. Like they are right at my ankles, if you can tell. This is a great limb for me, and I'm a shorty, and I usually have to hem everything. So this is really good. Um, these are actually larger in the waist, as you could tell, um, with the elastic. So because I actually have on my biker shorts underneath them, so I could have actually took these down a size, um, but I'm okay with it. Uh, they're not bad at all. I can rock these. 
these will be just fine. I love the fact that they have this big button and they also have this little closure piece on here. Not a hook and eye, but similar to a hook and eye. So that has a little clasp right there to tighten it up. And then here, so normally if they weren't so large in the waist, I'll be able to pull them down, but because they are so large, I have to pull them up not to get all of this baggy effect that I don't like. So that's why these have to pull up. And because my torso is not very long, it tends to happen. So, hey, can't fight the DNA, baby. Can't fight the DNA. You just work with it. But this piece right here, these two, surprisingly, the three, four pieces from Fashion to Figure in this haul, very, very, very nice. I am very happy with them. I am not mad at any of them. Um, will freely say I highly recommend every piece in this Fashion to Figure haul. So not mad at it not mad at them at all i wish that they would stay true to the old fashion to figure and still give you trendy but real life plus size styling um certain plus size women we will wear this and then there are certain plus size women that will wear things that are shorter or more cutouts or more this it, it's it's whatever their walk is in this thing called life so i would like a brand that actually brings us a nice balance um this haul was balanced for me it still gave you cutouts it still gave you classic it still left you grown women still left you not feeling like everything is out here in the world um so without any further ado i am not gonna hold you Thank you guys for watching. I want you to have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. And remember to always be a blessing to someone else because you never know what they're going through. Until the next video, which will be coming to you guys shortly, I am getting semi back on schedule. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. You guys stay prayed up. Stay blessed. Until the next video. Bye-bye.